If you're looking to really change the look of your home, a quick and relatively easy update is a fresh coat of paint. We know that, right? But today we're talking not just on the inside of your home, but the outside too. Designer Joseph Ward says painting your exterior brick is a great way to update your home, but, but, big but, it doesn't work for every house. You gotta be careful. This, it, it could really go bad. I've seen this go bad. <laughs> so draw the fine line for us. What makes the difference between, yes, it's a great fresh update, and no, you should have put that paintbrush well, down? I would say typically it depends on the style of your home. So I've seen it work really well on two styles of homes. One is more of a classic or traditional type home. Okay. The other is modern. Okay, so let's start with the classic home. What about a classic home makes painted brick work? Well, if you look at this photo, I mean, this, this is a classic home. It has steep roof lines. It has grids in the windows. Um, it has, it just, it's just more of a traditional feel. Mm -hmm. So those details can go really well with a painted brick. So if you're gonna do that, the next thing you have to think through is like the color. Well, yeah, talk to us about colors. What works well? So you would use the same, when you're picking out a paint, you'd, pick, you'd use the same adjectives that describe the house. So I'm using it, if your home is traditional, you'd want to pick out traditional paint colors. So like white, white. Yeah, whites, blacks, uh, warm grays, those types. You don't want to get too crazy. And talk to me about, we're painting over the whole thing, the squishy gush in between the bricks too? Yeah, that, typically that's the case. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to get this solid color, but you're still trying to let the texture of the brick come through. Right. And there's different types like of brick textures that people have. Like sometimes when they put the mortar in, they like cut the mortar back. Yeah. So the brick really like pops out. Yeah. And other times the mortar is like pretty flat with the brick. Yeah. So in these traditional homes, if your brick has, is really set back, it doesn't look as good because you have these harsh shadows gotcha. and light. So if it's a little bit more smooth, like uh -huh. the picture we've been showing, that looks really good. We've got a, a bad example. We've we got do a, a don't example. do this. If you have a classic home, Kay. what isn't working? So this isn't working. I looked at the before picture. Frank looked better. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's hope the homeowner's not watching. But this was the, like the colors of the shutters didn't work. The paint color was, was good. But overall, I didn't, it didn't reflect I mean, it was the shutters and the paint color they put on it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It just wasn't a strong It wasn't look. working. No. So you want, again, the texture, but you want a monochromatic look with you a classic do. color. Exactly. Can I sidebar for just a minute? I saw at the Salt Lake Parade of Homes, the, the, the mortar in the middle is kind of spilling out yeah. in some of these newer designs, which I know is a throwback because there's yes. some older homes in my neighborhood that have that same yeah. effect from, I think, the 70s. Yeah. What do you think of that? I think it's cool, and I think that's kind of the point, is that you're trying to get this subtle texture kind of detail in a monochromatic look. Mm -hmm. So that's what's appealing about it. Because otherwise you'll have all this two-tone between the mortar and the brick and you know it might be visually kind of busy. Right. And so they pull that whole busyness back by painting it. Okay. You mentioned two looks. The traditional which we talked about. The classic modern you said is another home design style that can lend yes. itself to this. Yeah. So modern. So if you have a, a home that has like shallower roof pitches, um, larger windows with no grids, um, Though, and ho windows that are more kind of like a horizontal layout opposed to a vertical, which is more traditional, mm -hmm. those lend itself great to painting the brick. It looks sleek, it looks cool. Yeah, it looks when nice. done right, when done right. Is this something you really can tackle yourself or would you leave this to a professional? You can do it yourself, yeah. Just, just when you're picking up the paint, make sure they know who the people providing the paint you're doing it on an exterior application. Right, makes a huge, yeah. <laughs> huge difference. We don't want yeah. chips or dings. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. If you're painting then your brick, your exterior, surface a, a monochromatic color what happens to the door then what do you do with the door so then typically again it depends on the style so if you're going modern it's awesome to have the door pop so you want to use a modern or contemporary color for that or even a nice warm natural wood looks really good if we're going back to the classic you don't want to have your door be too loud or bold i mean you could pull off a traditional color like a red door those types of things mm -hmm. but otherwise you do a nice black door or a white door looks really nice. So keep it simple Yeah, is really the message. Exactly. I should say we have a don't do this example of a modern style yeah, home as well. Let's pop that up if we can. Just too blah, just too bland. Yeah. And that wood is terrible with that yeah, color. Can exactly. I say that? I'm not the yeah. designer, but. And, and the color of the brick and the shutters, that was all pretty traditional, right? The color is a traditional color. The shutters are traditional detail. Right. You need to, so you need to be a little more modern in your color and pull off the traditional details like shutters. Got it, got it. You mentioned if you are going to, t to attempt this as a DIY, do it yourself to make sure you're reaching for exterior paint. Any other practical tips to pull this off? Uh, make sure it's clean. Clean, clean yeah. it before we'll you clean paint Clean the brick, because you can imagine there's a lot of dirt on it and the paint won't stick well and stuff. Let's break it down, final words. Pros of painting your brick are what? It's a sweet look. Cons? <laughs> it can look really bad if you don't do it well. <laughs> As proven in the picture. In the picture. Proof in the picture. Yeah. I've been curious about this topic for a long time, so I'm glad you were here yeah, to break cool, it down. Right? Thank you so much. Where can people get more of your design expertise? Uh, homerdesign.com or on Instagram at Homer Design. I know you've got a lot of cool renderings people can look yeah. through. You help people kind of visualize a new space, a new look for their home. Yeah, totally. Awesome. Joseph, thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks,